Good afternoon, Boat Club. It is Thursday, April the 7th. Spring has sprung. It is 87 degrees in Claremont. Uh, it's pretty much boating season is upon us. I have several uh, reminders and announcements, so uh, I'm going to try to be brief and keep this moving forward quickly. I apologize in advance for a swollen face and a lisp. I'm recovering from dental surgery, so please bear with me. First of all, our beloved Ron George, the organizer of Blind Ski Clinics, had some uh, pretty extensive surgery uh, this week, I think on Monday. He is recovering nicely in the ICU. If everything goes according to plan, he should be home uh, early next week. Uh, so our hearts and our prayers are with Ron and Diane. Um, he will be uh, available to uh, you know, respond to messages and maybe even accept your calls next week, it sounds like. So get better soon, Ron. An important announcement uh, from myself and the board regarding dogs. It's important to remember that dogs on Boat Club property are for members only. We see an increase of people either ignoring the rule or uh, uh, not knowing the rule that you must be a member. As a guest of a member, you cannot bring your dog on the property. It is not allowed. So we're increasing our policing and increasing our reminders. Therefore, we are reminding everyone once again, dog um, privileges are for members only. Also, you guys that do have dogs on the property, uh, we seem to have more and more conflicts, and I think it's because we have more dogs on the property on the weekends. Uh, you guys got to figure out how to get your dogs and yourselves to get along. The board of directors is not the dog police, so figure it out. Be nice to one another and their dogs, for crying out loud. Arrange them in such a way where they get along with each other. Uh, good news for the month of March, uh, record-setting month. The uh, membership drive is officially over. I would uh, declare that a success. It looks like where we reached a membership level of about 312. 300 was our uh, goal, our minimum goal, and we left it open one extra weekend, and uh, we got we got a surge. So we're we also will have a attrition right away, right? But uh, membership level is as strong as it's ever been. And the best I can tell, the new members that we're getting are the right members, right? They're, they're the right kind of people that we want in the building. They're doers, givers, and they're people who want to be there. So I'm thrilled about that. And then you add in the operations side of things, uh, doing extremely well. Last Friday was a great night in the galley, and I understand that the service was good uh, in addition to that and smooth. So it looks like now, you know, you're going to continue to see us get better and have more efficiency improvements, but it does look like we're going to uh, easily meet our financial objectives for the year because we are on rate or above rate. So I'm thrilled about that. That is good news. There's many things going on this week. Tonight, Thursday, it's um, Cowboy Poker Night. You're encouraged to go down. That's a lot of fun. Uh, tomorrow night, we have Nigel playing for Friday Night Steak Night. He's a member's favorite. He'll be playing on the deck. Uh, get down for that. Saturday, Whiskey Ridge, concert on the lawn. Check the calendar. I think it's uh, we're doing this... Uh, I don't know, I'm speculating. It's an afternoon or late afternoon gig. Um, there will be a, a fair amount of visitors on the property. Um, so come early, uh, get, you, get you a nice seat for this thing, and uh, come have some fun with us for Whiskey Ridge. It is a, a huge success uh, every time these guys are on the property. I think on Sunday brunch we, we do have... Uh, live entertainment for this Sunday, um, but check the calendar because I, I didn't look before I recorded. 
April 16 is the celebration of life for Tony Williams. Tony Williams is a prior Commodore. It's in the afternoon. I want to say it's 1 to 3, something like that. Uh, you may notice we do have a Commodore flag at half-mast on the property. That is part of that planned ceremony for the 16th. Uh, please come down. Tony was part of our community, and um, we want to do that right and recognize uh, Tony. Um, also, cleanup day, April 30th. That will be later on this month. Uh, put that on your calendar. If you have some project lists, things that need to get done that we may not have visibility on, send us a note. We expect a strong turnout from our new friends and allies, the OMBAC crew. So we have a couple really uh, slightly larger projects to put in front of those guys because we got, uh, looks like we're going to have all hands on deck for that. Easter this year, we're going to double up a little bit. We will have an Easter egg hunt, and we will have Easter brunch. But in addition to that, we're going to have an Easter dinner, 4 to 6. Uh, so uh, Easter should be a really good day down at the boat club. Uh, opening day this year will be Memorial Day weekend, the Saturday, just like last year. We will um, we'll have a few things on the schedule. One will include a raft-up tie-up somewhere on Mission Bay on that Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. That Saturday night, we're going to repeat uh, karaoke back at the club. And then on Sunday, we will have a concert on the lawn. Uh, and then you'll still have Monday off. So that's Memorial Day weekend opening day for San Diego Mission Bay Boat and Ski Club. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, enjoy your April. And uh, we'll see you down at the club.